YouTube, this is Veggie Muff, and today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial for pet play or just any dark kind of seductive makeup for this type of act you would be doing, I guess. Anyway, let's get started. I might put music over this, but I'll figure that out later. First off, we will start by using my conceal concealer. Blah. Not really sure what kind it is because I got it a, quite a long time ago, about like four years ago. Anyway, we'll start by applying that on the face and just everywhere. <laughs> no real good area, just on your whole entire face. This, this is the how you do it. See. And then we'll blend this in after, but that doesn't matter right now because I'm just squishing this all over my face. Looks amazing. See, this is how you're supposed to look. Beauty standards. Not really. I don't really care. But on my nose, under my baggy eyes. Oh my goodness. And on my eyelids. Oh. Wow. Amazing. Okay, now that you have smeared a shit ton of concealer on your face, we're going to blur the shit out of your face with a hopefully clean concealer brush that I actually just found recently, and the top is loose. It's gonna break on me at some point. Let's hope not today. Anyway, we will start by blending this on your face. Oh, la, la, la. oh my god, amazing. Oh, just feel all those nice oily shit go on your face. Not really that bad, actually. A lot of concealer that I have used before, I find that it is very oily. And it doesn't feel too good on your skin. It's quite gross. This one, actually, I don't know where I got this from, but it's from some lady who came to a class I had once way back in high school. And it's not oily. Like, it dries really quickly. It doesn't leave your skin dry either, which is really <laughs> awesome. Because you don't want dry skin. That would suck a lot. And see, it doesn't really... Not, not as dark compared to... My white, my white ass neck, but you know, looks fine. And the lighting in here is absolutely terrible, but I tried. I don't have any contouring kits, so we're not gonna contour because natural beauty. So, and another thing I don't have, which I should get, but I lost, is eye primer, which is awesome when you're using a Sephora Makeup Academy palette. I got a while back as a present. Really massive. Haven't used like half the colors on this thing. I'll just show you. Oh my god. Yeah. So, like I said before, the theme is more of a dark, kind of new, sexy, sexy kind of like look you're aiming for, which I hope I can do. Um, you know what? I had everything like a day ago set up. And now I don't. And usually you should have a bunch of brushes just, you know, ready to go and be right back. Oh. I am back. Make a brush. Should have found this earlier, but no, I didn't. So, have an eyelash check. Make sure your hair is all pulled back. I actually have short hair, it's just ponytail, not so much short. We're gonna start off with a, let's do sparkly. A 70% sparkly gray on the outer lid, and just kind of put that shit right there. There we go. No, I can't really see the sparkles in this, which is upsetting, but you know. So I'm just gonna pretend that looks nice. Ooh. Now, attempt to do it on the other side. Oh my god. Eh. Attempting. Not doing too bad. Just kidding. Looks like shit. Mmm, okay, so. Try and blend that in with your finger. Even though you shouldn't use your finger, you should be using a blending tool. Talking art supplies here, but I mean, 
Try and blend it with your brush. Really try. I can't. Oh, I mean, kind of. Yeah. So now that you have the gray on your lo lower, cheese, upper eyelids, you will need to put a lighter sparkly gray on the inner part of your eyelid to make it pop. So, can't really see that. Kind of can. See how it's already just like, oh, look it. Wow. Sparkly. Which you guys can see the sparkles more than this, but you know, maybe I'll take pictures after. So now that that's on there, that shit's all put on. It will do like a fading transition on your eyes. It'll look really cool. There's probably tutorials about how to do this already, but you know, why be original when you can just do some shit everyone else has already done? Make, makes sense, I guess. Now for the very inner part of your eyelid, we are going to put a shit ton of white to make your eyes look bigger. And just because that's how it works, it just looks good. I guess it looks good. Maybe it doesn't. We'll find out. Either way, you should really be like cleaning your brush when you are doing the transition between colors because you know you don't want black to be here as like you can kind of see it already is. I'm just gonna like load it on. Mm -hmm. And then boop. See it looks it looks okay. It looks decent. Now the difficult part. I find difficult. And make sure when you always get colors on your brush, like the pigment powders, tap it lightly on your finger to get the excess like powder off. Because when you put it on your face, as you see here, it collects under your eyes or on your face, and then you touch it and then it smudges. You don't want smudgy color on your face. So for the black pigment, you put it right on the very end of your eyelid. Just kind of make sure it doesn't clash and like not blend in with everything. See, like that's a lot darker. Looks cool. So, light tap. And there we go. Right on my eyelid. Oh, see, that's not blended. There we go. Looks about right. Maybe not. Not exactly, but you know, can't be perfect. That's okay. So, now that we have the eye left, or the eyeshadow already done, we're going to move on to. You know, I don't need more black on my face, but I'm going to with black eyeliner on the bottom lid. Now this part's always the funniest part when applying makeup because you can't just not <laughs> try and keep your mouth shut. Your mouth is usually always open when <laughs> you put eyeliner on. <sighs> so excuse the dumb faces I make when I'm putting this on. Because everyone does this. They either edit it out or just like, don't look. Or... So, you tell I'm putting it on the bottom lid. You put it on your eye, your waterline too if you really want, but I don't want that for this look. I don't want to have like a full on, oh. Eh, maybe I'll change it after. And make sure you get it right in the corner so it doesn't like show any skin color. So that looks nice already. It's all whoosh. We are now going to be going to the liquid pen. Oh my god. So, <coughs> excuse me. You can see here, I don't, I have the brush tip. I don't usually actually like the actual brush. This is almost like, how would you explain it? It's not, see you could go like that and it looks nice, right? It's kind of like a pad, but sh in the uh, shape of a brush, which is a lot easier than the brush itself, I find. So let's, we're going to do like a winged eyeliner that goes outward. Hopefully I don't do it too high. And always do eyeliner after you finish your eyeshadow because you don't want the eyeshadow to cover over the eyeliner because that would suck. Gonna do this. I hope you guys enjoy my flattering angles of my face when I'm trying to put on makeup. Mm. And don't want it, since this is liquid, let it dry before you actually like open your eyes fully because you can get eyeliner on your eyelid, and it's kind of funny, but it kind of sucks at the same time. 
because cleaning that can wipe off your makeup that you have already applied. Make sure you really get, I always like to dab it so you can, instead of seeing the skin color, you see just the eyeliner itself. So that's one side compared to the other. Whoa, big difference already. Make sure you're really in the corner and now it's gonna do the other side. I think my favorite part is applying the eyeliner because it looks so precise. Everyone's about the winged eyeliner. So, looks legit. Now I'm just gonna fix it up and I'm gonna dab the shit out of my face again with this. Make sure there's no skin color showing and then voila, whoa. Big difference. Makeup looks you makeup makes you look like a completely different person when you think about it. Which is quite scary, but you know. And I'm going to lightly just kind of go underneath my eye with liquid. You know, just just for a little extra. Woo! What are you doing there, makeup? Now my least favorite part. Why don't you take a wild guess? If I can find that I put everything back to normal, which I didn't, let that dry. My least favorite part, mascara. Oh, I hate it. I just I don't. It's not. It is probably like the most annoying, uh, annoying, annoying thing I do when I'm doing my makeup, which is hardly ever. But I don't know. I just I think I'm gonna poke myself, which I usually do. And on top of that, I don't have a uh, eyelash curler because those things are scary as hell. Go right to your eye and just like clamp your face. <laughs> no thanks, but you can see it just kind of... It's already making a difference, it's just weird. Heck, I don't do my makeup that much. So and we're going to do the top too as well. Not too much. You don't want to like clump it all up and make it look really ugly because it would suck. So that side's done. I can do the bottom too, but there. That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> now let's re-dip. Make sure there's no clumpy on the edge because clumpy clumpies aren't good. And let's start doing the other side. Mm. Oh, fabulous. I love having things close to my face. Ah, poked myself, great. So, mm, oh, see, this is the this is the thing that happens. This, eh, eh. Thank goodness I have makeup remover, like right, right here. For mistakes, I'm using Mary Kay makeup remover because shit's good. Do the. Bottom lashes too. Oh, you know how weird that feels. Legit, like it's really weird. Really weird feeling. Really weird. Very weird. And now you can do multiple. Whoa, multiple colors of lipstick for this. I personally prefer. Let me pick it out for a minute. So I have Makeup Forever Professional Black Lipstick because you know. Black is an amazing color, I think, own personal opinion. Or we could have Kate. It's like a seductive number 60 lasting finish. Red, if you guys don't know what color. It's pretty nice. I, mm. Or Liquid to Matte Lipstick by Jeffree Star. Can't see it. It is the Blue Velvet, which is a very nice color. You know what? I can't complain about this stuff. This stuff is awesome. But I might save this one for another time. So you're going to have to watch another video. <laughs> totally. I planned that out. No, I didn't actually. But, you know. So, we can try out both colors. But I'm thinking the red's going to really work out for this. Since I have enough black on my face, you know, spice it up a little. We're going seductive here. What I'll try. Anyway, 
Never start with the top lip when you're applying lipstick. Always do the bottom. It's a lot easier. But let us start. Mm. Lipstick's also awkward to put on, which is hilarious. But you know. And I love getting it on my teeth. Ooh, sexy. I hate this so much. Yeah, see? I'm so used to liquid matte lipstick and the little thing instead of this, so this is like so annoying. I might change this after. It's not that bad. Just gonna fix up where I puckered because, whoops. Doesn't look that bad. Black might have been a better choice. But you know, go with any color you desire that your little heart desires. Yeah, just you know, I will show you guys the look of my face. I should probably fix up where I touched myself with mascara on my eye because I was trying to do that. You only need a little bit. You don't want to like wipe off the rest of your makeup because it would suck. Okay, so. There we go. Get a close up. Wiped off some concealer too. Nice. Okay. So. Seductive red lipstick. And my eyes. <laughs> Sounds so self confident doing that. Anyway, like I said before, start off with a gray tone. For most of the lid, let's say halfway to the lid, you put gray here. And then you go in with a white right in the inner corner. Then you do the dark black. Remember to make sure to tap your brush when you're doing it. Then eyeliner. Then eyeliner on the bottom too. Then mascara. And then lipstick. But let's not forget the most important thing. Have fun. And wear makeup if you want. Or don't. I don't usually wear makeup. But you know what? Today's the day. Anyway, enjoy your day, night, evening, morning, whatever, and whenever you guys are watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Veggie Muff out.